Hello guys and in this video I am going to show you how to install the A3 2017 port full, uh, full port ROM to the Galaxy J7 2015 to recovery mode so we need to press the volume button, the home button and the power button at the same time and leave it when you see the boot logo this will enter into TWRP and swipe to allow modifications first go to settings and dim the brightness or oh, you don't need to dim because i want to show you so i am dim the okay before uh, wipe go to backup select everything select storage as micro sd card and swipe to backup this might uh, depend upon your use of data you had in your internal storage it may finish uh, earlier if you have only 3 to 4 gb used and now we go to wipe Advanced wipe, the wikage, data, and on storage system, and swipe to wipe. I'll go back after the wipe and then install. I go to A3 port or any folder you have saved. Now, first we'll flash the JSON Optimax, the A3 2017, blurry launcher, and the mods. Okay, so everything is added. You can swipe to. Okay, it will start now. The uh, Aroma installer, you can select your theme and everything for the boot logo. You need to disable this and backup EFS. And you need, can go to white theme or black theme. You can set the DPI, I mean, use a smaller screen. I recommend to use a smaller screen, but uh, they recommend me a 320 DPI, I means the normal one. We get the stock and other ROMs. So it is installing and one thing I have created a WhatsApp group on Android development so you can uh, go there the chat link is in the description you, uh, you can directly join the group through that and you can ask every question about Android any problems you face while flashing ROMs routing process for any device not the only J7 or other series only Sam every day with Samsung or Moto where you have everything you can ask it and those who need to know about how to flash uh, uh, TWRP or route through the ADB they can also ask ADB drivers and you can also enter into ADB uh, recovery you can fast boot it you can unlock your OEM so many things to do and you, yeah, and also uh, some new phones uh, that are coming or had come and you can uh, ask me for uh, a recommendation or ask other uh, people in the group now there are only two people so if uh, so yeah you need some more people who are interested in uh, android development and want to know some more things about it so yeah you can uh, easily go to the group chat link in it and directly join okay so just install let's go next and says reboot device do not do it it will install every mod here okay this says uh, uh, fail to mount cache so for this you need to go to wipe Ad uh, sorry not format advanced wipe repair or uh, okay select cache repair or change file system change file system to ext2 the default is ext4 now you didn't get any fail to mount data, it is the last one only. Now go back, change again it to ext4 default. Okay, so now you cannot see anything. You can reboot system from there and I will reboot from here. So this is the black on white and black and you can see the boot animation also now. Okay, it may boot loop once or twice. You can see again the logo because it, this is a boot loop. Yeah, don't worry if it goes black and you are going mad. Please wait, don't remove the battery and all. Just wait some 5 to 10 seconds. Now, this is the boot animation. Oh, where is it? Uh, yeah, this is the boot animation white and black. And it's a fast. Okay, yeah. Still faster than the stop. And let it boot and I will give a review. As you can see, this ROM has booted up and let's select our language. There are many languages, so. No issue, you can use your own language. 
it's two. Let's start here and check the Wi-Fi and skip it for all. Agree to all. Let's click next. Let's accept the device uh, protection. And it's a simple thing only and no more things uh, get here and skip. Okay, SIM card manager, select off. Okay, it's done and this is the ROM. You can see here. So this is uh, Dream UX, not uh, sorry, Grace UX, but Dream UX uh, feeling we get because of uh, this. Uh, and uh, so, if you're facing this uh, emergency calls only issue, I will uh, tell you that later. First, we will see. So we get the S Power Planning, the new thing, Alta Data Saving. It's not new, but we get here. And this always on display blue light filter doesn't work. UHQ upscaler is working. And here's the capture screen and S bike mode 2 for the bikers. And you have the uh, other uh, do not disturb and other things. And you have the uh, uh, app lock 2. I will show everything now. So connections you can see here SIM card manager. You can manage from here. You can turn it off. So it's only one. You can uh, uh, have the uh, airplane mode or uh, switch off the phone and again restart. Then you will see the data is working. Or I will show you how to do it. Location and more settings. And in more settings, you do not get the uh, download booster. Oh, this feature is missing. In sound and vibrations, we get the basic sounds. Touch sounds are somehow changed. Let's see notification display. So yeah, same edge screen. You can also see here. Edge screen is working. Is the apps edge? Is the people edge? Is task edge? And so edge screen is working. You can add panels to screen saver. And this is also I don't have the smart view, but uh, in uh, a A5, five uh, sorry a yeah, a five two thousand. Uh, 17 ROM version 4 which I'm going to uh, test oh sorry I'm testing and will make a video soon means I will upload it soon after this so this was a display wallpapers and things and everything are not advanced features also the same only some okay here's the lock and hide apps and see here you can lock and hide apps Okay, it will start. Wait, yeah. Enter any pin. Let me enter zero zero zero. You can see verification method. You can change pin pattern, locked apps, and hidden apps. So you can hide all the apps, but some apps can be hidden. Device management, and yeah, it includes the Alta Data Saving mode. Let's see the RAM. What what we get and by clearing it so the RAM after clearing we will get for its usage it is the maximum yo 5 and 5 so that's a good score yeah you can see this multi windows this works on uh, more than uh, apps that uh, was working for and let's see storage too what you get if it's the audit 10.4 GB so that's very well and in the new ROMs we are getting 10.5 so new ROMs are deodexed well this is the accessibility direction log direct access manage you can manage the accessibility and change some more settings so here are some basic settings here I think more that you can enjoy let's look about the camera so the camera is one thing okay and this is only uh, the uh, uh, Note 7 style camera, not the Dream UX style button here. It clicks pictures. Okay, it's working, and flash is also working.
Okay, so here are some MC modes, and it's a quick toggle here to change it to other modes. And here also there are modes night mode here we get. This is very awesome. We get the night mode here. And here we have some okay, where are these? Oh sorry. This is selfie mode and night mode we are anywhere. And here we have some modes and magic ma maple. And you can click pictures with that too very easily. Okay, without flash too. The front flash is also working, let's check it out again. Okay, I I am sorry. Front flash is working, that's very awesome. And other camera features are same. So no need of worrying about the camera is working or not or other camera features is working. So other things changed is uh, we get some extra ER and blur. We get this blur here and again this thing too. Okay, this uh, status bar or a quick pull down we don't get any blur we just get the blurry launcher and let's see the wiper effects so this is add on in the theme in this rom this is a uh, is direct so we get the for, for a bluetooth device the usb dock phone speaker and headset so this is a powerful one and you can hear also monster power so this will turn on it and you can select the Viper DTC, Compressor, Gain Control, Spectrum Extension and many other things are here. Headphones Surround Plus is very awesome. The uh, Clarity also you can increase in bars. Increase means it will improve the clarity. Here are some settings here. You can see Show Notification, Log Effect Mode and Effects Compatibility Mode also. If uh, anything is not working you can change it. So this is very awesome and it's working on this is uh, working on yeah, the normal kernel okay so I'm going to uh, fix this issue or uh, emergency oh, let's boot into recovery you know how to boot it let's boot into recovery and flash that kernel zip Increase brightness. Install and directly go to HD card and the kernel here. Here are two kernels, but first we'll see the mass menu kernel working or not. You can also try after burner, burner kernel, but mass menu is a better battery life. Is it is stock, but the version two means it is optimized. So let's see after the boot. Okay, happens. after boot, we can see. Uh, that uh, we get the uh, whatever your career label is and I explain every feature of this ROM and if something is missed please uh, write down below in the comments so if you like this video and if you find this helpful please press the like button and uh, subscribe for more videos if you have not subscribed yeah uh, the subscribers have increased to like uh, 77 or 78 so thank you for that and expect this in first month and goodbye now and yeah, for uh, any uh, routing process or Android development, uh, the chat link is, uh, WhatsApp chat link is uh, down below. You can see and you can join the group. So goodbye for today and we'll, say, uh, we'll see you in the next video.